Hi guys, this is your reading for mid-month, the 15th through the 31st. This is a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I'm going to go ahead and do a Celtic cross, but um, since the camera is pointing at me, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, as I pull the cards, we're going to talk about the cards and the position, okay? For Virgo. Please show me love messages for Virgo for May 15th through the 31st. What's going on around Virgo? Please show me. Ace of Wands. I keep, keep thinking that the camera is pointing down below. Um, this is this is feeling anxious about starting something new. Okay, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is here. But um, this is like a spark, like a new idea, um, something new that you guys want to do, or either this is somebody that is around you, very close to you. Okay, that could quite possibly be, you know, a significant other. It could also be somebody just in your vicinity that um, is important to you. Okay, let's see what's crossing you guys here. Four of Wands energy. Aries energy is here. This is like a new relationship. This looks like something being lit inside you or the other person to basically stabilize a relationship, a connection, um, to no longer be in conflict, to want to make something work. I'm feeling that, you know, possibly before there was a lot of arguing or either a lot of disagreements between you and someone else here. Um, but there is a strong, I feel, desire to, to make something work here, okay? A marriage even for some of you. Let's see what the underlying issue is here. The high priestess I don't think either one of you is speaking okay I think there's a lot that's not been spoken there's a lot that is not known um, maybe there's even a mistress for some of you somebody on the side there's, there's something that I feel like you guys actually need to talk about in order to come out of conflict, to get along, to build um, a connection here with this high priestess energy. Because that's the underlying issue. That's the past issue, that there were a lot of secrets. Um, maybe there was not open communication. Okay. <clears throat> between the two of you. In the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles. This could be you. Another Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn. Energy is here. But what I'm getting more so than anything is that somebody in this situation felt like it was just them and their person and I'm feeling that there was a secret that came out possibly that there was somebody else on the side in this connection because I'm saying like a stable connection here but I'm also seeing that there are three people here with the underlying issue being secrets and 
and a lack of communication, a lack, a lack of effective communication here. So um, maybe somebody wants to come clean in this situation. Hmm. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are here. Ten of Cups. You're focused on just being extremely happy being emotionally stable and fulfilled, to have a family, to have this connection that um, is undeniable. You have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups here. Either you or the other person wants to be open and make make this situation balanced and right. Is what I see. Somebody wants to come clean, open up. Um, they want to start over. They want to come out of conflict with you guys, or vice versa. They see you and only you, or you see them and only them, okay? So only you guys know your own personal situations here. What's coming in for you? I see Pisces energy here too. What's coming in for you? I feel Gemini's here for some reason. Eight of Pentacles. Very good. This is you. Rebuilding. Rebuilding. I feel that you're contemplating something, though. Um, you don't know if this person is willing or wants to build this connection with you. I see you guys working. I see you saving money. I see you protecting those people that you love. I see you caring for those, those people that you love. Um, but I feel this other person is somebody that you really want in your life. And vice versa. This person wants you in their life as well. Um, I see there's hope here. There's hope that that you guys will be on the same accord. That this situation will be balanced. I see a lot of balance in your situation, honestly. A lot of balance. We have all even numbers here. Let's see how you're viewing this situation. We have the Queen of Cups. I think you're willing to put your all into the situation and you care for this person so very much. But if you can see, her hand is on that cup. So she's not just overflowing with emotion regardless of how somebody responds to her. She is... She is able to basically filter her emotions. If I'm feeling that you guys are at a place where you're ready to reciprocate, you're ready to open up if the other person will open up. You're ready to put in the time and energy to build this connection if the other person is willing to do the same is what I see. It's what I see here. Um, you're just not you're not ready to wear your heart on your sleeve, for sure. Which is a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. Okay. Let's see. What is the influence here for Virgo? And then we have the Three of Pentacles. You're ready to compromise. You're ready to compromise and 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 work on this thing. You're ready to do your part. Is what I'm hearing. 
Capricorn energies here. We have Cancer as well. But they have to be willing to do their part. And I'm seeing that, you guys... It's like, my Virgos, you're willing to be the one to, like, take the lead um, and basically show your person the way if they are willing to compromise as well. It's like, everything needs to be reciprocated, which is the way that relationships should be. Hmm. Your hopes or fears... star <laughs> your hope is hope this is having hope this is having hope that this person is still within reach that that they have not gotten so far away from you that you guys cannot bring this back in that the the conflict wasn't so heavy that it cannot be fixed because I'm feeling there's a very deep connection between you and your person Virgo you've got the star you've got the four of wands and you've got the ten of cups this is your person. That's Aquarius energy there with the star. Hmm. You guys want to bridge a gap. You want to start something. I'm getting stronger that it's you guys that really, you know, you you want to like spark something off. You want to bring the stability back to the relationship because you love this person. And I'm getting that you guys see forever with this person. I feel like you didn't get to the Ten of Pentacles here um, because of, you know, the lack of communication or the lack of effective communication in this situation. I feel like, you know, the support, like the financial support, um, is here but there was something that was lacking here you guys never got to the ten of pentacles and I feel like you know you've invested a lot into this connection and you want to continue to build it you want the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles I'm feeling like you know this is your person I'm getting strongly let's see what the overall is here Look at this. Seven of Pentacles. Planting seeds, investing. Having hope. Growing this connection. Doing what is necessary to grow this connection. I see you guys waiting, though. And this could be very, um, this could be financial for a lot of you that maybe you were financially stable before and you were knocked off a little bit and you're trying to gain your stability back, start a new job invest and build up your finances as well. Some of you are needing to do that in order to be with this person that um, that you want to be with. Hmm. So again, we have Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn energy, maybe another Virgo um, like you guys. Cancer is here, Pisces is here, Aries energy is here. Okay, so that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.